My name is Ann Wright. I'm a retired U.S. Army colonel. I was 29 years in the U.S. military. I was also a U.S. diplomat for 16 years and served in U.S. embassies in Nicaragua, Grenada, Somalia, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Sierra Leone, Micronesia. I helped reopen the U.S. Embassy in Kabul, Afghanistan in December 2001 and stayed there for five months. And then Mongolia was my last assignment. The last four assignments were as Deputy Ambassador or Deputy Chief of Mission. But in March of 2003, I ended up resigning from the U.S. government in opposition to President, War's, President Bush's war on Iraq. I felt that that uh, decision to invade and occupy an uh, oil-rich Arab Muslim country that had nothing to do with 9-11 uh, was going to be uh, a disaster for the United States as well as certainly for the people of, of Iraq, that uh, the decision to invade Iraq was going to precipitate uh, feelings in the Middle East uh, against the United States about invasions and occupations. And so I became one of only three federal employees that ended up resigning over the Iraq war. Subsequently, uh, we found out that indeed the uh, presentation that my boss at the time, Secretary of State Colin Powell, the evidence that he presented to the United Nations on the issue of weapons of mass destruction, um, it was not believed by the United Nations at that time, and in fact the UN did not vote for any sort of military operations in the name of the United Nations. And we found out subsequently through uh, comments made by uh, Colin Powell's Chief of Staff, Larry Wilkerson, that indeed there really was no evidence of any weapons of mass destruction. And so the rationale for the United States to have invaded and occupied Iraq, and now we have nearly, what is it, 13 years of military operations that have been going on in Iraq, and tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of Iraqis who have been killed. And now we see the, the creation of ISIS, which I think is a direct result of the U.S. Uh, occupation of Iraq, now ISIS in Iraq and in Syria, and yet another country that has been destabilized, and by another U.S. administration, the Obama administration, which again has this idea that regime change is so the responsibility of the United States of America, as what we've seen in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, and Syria. And in none, none of those countries are things stable at all because of the U.S. intervention. So at this, um, People's Tribunal on the Iraq War, I call upon other people who are in the U.S. government now uh, to look really closely at what is going on and to have the courage of your convictions that if you feel like you need to get out of the government that you should and then speak out on your concerns. Thank you.